All right, let's uh, start. So it's a little bit overexposed for the remote students. I guess I'll um, erase a bit harder. So uh, today, so here is our schedule. Um, on Monday and Wednesday, uh, we'll learn conjugate gradient. Um, I mean, so we'll learn how to construct conjugate gradient method and uh, uh, we'll learn um, what is uh, the mathematical meaning behind it. And on Friday, we'll learn how do we apply. So right now we are all solving this one quadratic uh, minimization problem. So um, we're all solving this problem, which is a quadratic function. Um, and uh, the Q is greater than zero. And it means uh, X transpose, it means X transpose QX is greater than zero for any X not zero. And uh, Q is symmetric. We're all solving this question. Uh, so this is a quadratic function. And uh, uh, on Friday, uh, the coding lecture, so we'll learn how do we apply the conjugate gradient um, for uh, general functions, okay, so. And let's recap what we have done. So um, the first one is uh, um, a gradient descent. So uh, by the way, uh, no matter we use gradient descent or stiffest descent, so this is the form of our uh, iterate, iterative method. So we update, we update our X and we tried to uh, update this X every iteration by moving in the direction um, this function decreases fastest. Okay, so now the first method we learn is gradient descent. And we learned that, so this is actually, the convergence analysis is after we learned steepest descent, but, uh, uh, but we can essentially, we can choose the step size um, to be two divided by the lambda maximum plus lambda minimum and lambda maximum and minimum are the maximum eigenvalue and minimum eigenvalue of this matrix Q. And both of them are greater than zero because uh, Q itself is greater than zero. Then we have the convergence. The convergence is X K plus one subtract X star. And this is L2 norm. So by the way, X star is the unique solution to QX equals B. So this we have proved in homework. And uh, um, this is less than or equal to, let me use a new panel. So I mean, so far we're doing review. So we have already derived all these, but uh, it's always good to review uh, what we have learned. So this is uh, this is a convergence of uh, um, the gradient descent. It's a linear convergence because the error, this is error measured in L2 norm of the next iteration shrinks this factor that much um, versus the previous iterations. Okay. So we want this factor um, as small as possible, which means we want lambda max. So if we divide the lambda max, um, 
if we divide lambda minimum on both sides, so this thing equals kappa minus one, kappa plus one, and kappa is a condition number, and we want a condition number as close to one as possible, which means the lambda max and lambda minimum, the ratio should not be too big. And then we run into trouble because uh, um, then uh, something will converge very slow, but uh, um, in fact, it's no big difference than an easy problem. So um, then we try to improve it using a steepest descent, but uh, still not very good. Okay. So steepest descent is we try to uh, try to do a line search and we uh, ended up with the following. With the following step size and where this PK is negative gradient. So PK is a direction of the steepest descent. Okay. So let me check the remote. Okay, no questions. And this is this is actually done by this is actually done by. Um, we do a minimization. So because we know that we'll move, we will move our point in the direction of the negative gradient. So we do a line search. This is called line search. If we see this type of a, a formula, that is a, we minimize one parameter in the single direction. This is a single direction. This is like a vector. Um, it's a one dimensional uh, linear space. And so we choose an alpha so that along this direction, we hit the minimum possible along that direction. And this is called a line search. So we haven't proved the convergence of this yet because we haven't actually introduced Q norm until last lecture. So the convergence of this is in the homework. Okay, so there is a instruction so it's in the homework and there is an instruction step-by-step step of how do we prove the convergence for the steepest descent. So, and now the next. Is we try to, uh, by the way, uh, for the, so here is a uh, steepest descent continue. That is uh, for steepest descent, we can uh, derive that uh, For consecutive, for consecutive iterations, the gradient, the direction are orthogonal to one another, which means their inner product is uh, zero, a dot product. So next is a uh, CG, conjugate gradient. So CG is, like I said earlier, it's a state of art optimization algorithm uh, for this problem. So, it's the fastest possible. So no, it, it's like the, the optimal one. So no one can be faster than CG. CG is already the fastest. And uh, what CG does is we try to exploit the fact that, so if F of X is defined by this function, the quadratic function, And uh, the minimum is achieved um, at the unique solution to QX equals B. So last time we derived actually, so last lecture, we have derived that for any X in Rn. So x subtract the f of x's value at the minimum. So this is the minimum value. It equals one half 
x subtract x star q norm square. This is with what we derived last time. So I re I rewrote it a little bit. Um, and where so where q norm so where The Q norm square is defined by just uh, Y transpose QY. Okay. So it's a norm is because a Q is greater than zero. So, and this is this is a this is a formula. We should keep this in mind. This formula tells us this formula tells us if we want to minimize. If we want to minimize f of x, it's in fact minimizing the distance to this x star, but in q norm. All right. So the the the, the global picture of this whole optimization is uh, so now it becomes we want to minimize the distance. So we we acknowledge then we. Uh, then we kind of uh, we we went back a step to interpret. So even though um, it's not featured in the book, so uh, the textbook assume assumes us already know the projection corresponds to minimizing the distance. So um, so let's continue. CG is we try to explain like why CG works. And why we should do a projection is because we have to realize one thing that is, if we want to minimize the distance of uh, something, so y in the subspace, okay, of so uh, y subtract x so if we want to minimize the l2 norm all right okay let, let me uh let me change let me change the uh, the way of write, writing this a little bit otherwise it may confuse us a little bit so let me still draw this uh, picture so we have we have an x here And this is our projection of X so what does projection mean is is X subtract the projection of s X okay is orthogonal to any V any v in s and it's equivalent the projection is equivalent of minimizing minimizing the distance okay so it's equivalent of minimizing the distance so it's equivalent if we look for something that is we minimize so y is an s and we minimize the distance of x subtract y. Okay. So we derived that we minimize x distance to this s is equivalent of solving this projection problem. Now, let's look at the problem we tried to solve, okay? That is minimizing the distance. This is minimizing, this is minimizing what? This is minimizing the distance in Q, so. So finally,
So finally, we're here. Our problem is to minimize the distance in Q. So let's just uh, translate that here. So we're trying to minimize, we're trying to minimize that. But uh, let's, let me do this first. So we're trying to minimize this problem. All right. So it's actually the same is, is what, so think about this, this is our X. So this X here is actually our X star. So uh, uh, we can think this is X star. And, uh, so we're actually, we're actually looking for, we're actually looking for, so this is, this is uh, indeed, we're looking for projection of X star to Rn, okay. Actually, this tells us nothing. X star projected to Rn is it actually is itself. So this problem, this problem is actually equivalent of the original problem. So this problem tells us nothing. The key of the conjugate gradient descent, sorry, the conjugate gradient is we replace this Rm by a subspace. So we consider The key to conjugate gradient is we consider subspaces. So it's a problem. Let, let me use a new panel. Let me use a new panel. And I wanna and I wanna formalize this. So we consider a subspace, okay. So by the way, uh, let me still let me still uh, write down the uh, um, the function. That is, uh, um, so we say x. Let me use u and v. So u is q orthogonal to v. This is same thing as uh, u transpose q v is zero. And uh, um, and we also have, so over there, it's a minimum of that. So if we minimize Y and S, um, X star subtract Y, but in Q, okay, this is the same thing as this is the same thing as we solved the projection problem, but in Q. So we solve the projection problem in Q. We just change it a tiny bit. It should be X star subtract projection SQ. X star 
dot v and we have to add a q matrix here it's q times this vector so it's a matrix matrix vector multiplication and uh, is uh, zero here for any v I mean, we can equivalently write down this as many things. For example, it can be V transpose Q uh, of X star subtract the projection of Q X star is zero. So all we can write down using the inner product is format the inner product format is something like the following. The inner product format is, uh, so on notation wise. So notation wise, we denote this Q orthogonality, which is right here. So it's essentially X star subtract the projection is a Q orthogonal to this V. Or we can write down this notation that is X star subtract Uh, projection SQ in the Q direction, projection to S and X star, comma. So this is parentheses, first vector, second vector, subscript Q is zero. So notation wise, we can see uh, we have many notation for the same thing. So now let's, uh, let's try to reformulate this problem in the uh, iterative method context is we replace, is we replace right here using a subspace. And let me reformulate this problem more precisely. So the key is, like I said, the caveat is, is right there. We replace the Rn. So that problem is equivalent to the original problem. So right now uh, we do in the subspace. So in the context is if we current at uh, k iteration, okay? So uh, let me check my notes if the notation is consistent. Okay, so we're at the kth iteration. So we're at the kth iteration and we want to, what we want to do is we consider the following problem that is, uh, um, so we're at the k iteration and we want to improve this. So instead of consider, um, we consider x, we consider y is our next candidate. Okay, so y is like, uh, y is uh, the dummy variable. So it's like the candidate for um, our next iterator. So how do we get the next iterate is we, we consider y subtract xk or say y equals xk plus a vector in this subspace and we minimize 
the one half y subtract x star. And this is essentially CG. And this is CG. So this is essentially what CG does. CG is at every iteration, we try to, um, we try to minimize, we try to update our, this is Y is our candidate to next iterate. And we basically, we update Y. We, our search direction is a subspace. So that's it. And we change the orthogonality to Q orthogonal. So let me summarize. So now there is not, no single search direction. The search for next iterate. So originally we had a line search. Line search means we search on a line. But now the search is in a search of next iterate. The search of our X sub K plus one happens in the subspace. That's XK plus is in the directions. So in many directions, okay, of a, of a subspace. And the second, the thing we change is, uh, we change the original dot product orthogonal to Q orthogonal because we are minimizing um, this Q. And that is CG. So the detail of the CG, we need to learn how do we choose uh, this S. Okay. So let me ask the remote students to see if uh, it's okay to move on. Okay, thank you. So I'll move on. But uh, before that, let me just uh, recap what we did. So in this panel, in panel seven, is the essence of CG. So the left is just the technicality because uh, the rest we'll see many formulas, you know. So P transpose Q, P, and as such. But this is core idea of CG. That is our search direction is not just one direction. In the original steepest the descent, the search direction is only one direction, okay. And here, the search direction is the subspace. So, and we change. So original it's minimized maybe L2 norm. And uh, because uh, we take derivative, we'll find it's uh, the steepest descent when we derive the formula, it's actually computing uh, not Q orthogonal, the original orthogonal, but here we want to change um, the orthogonality to Q orthogonality. So, and that's it for CG. And next is we start to derive the formulas. Okay. So right now, um, the first example is uh, um, if our search, this subspace is of dimension one, what happens? And we choose actually the space to be span of uh, the negative gradient, which is uh, the direction this function decreases fastest. 
So when we choose dimension of this subspace, search direction subspace is one, we actually like uh, get back to the steepest descent. So let, let's try to derive it. Um, so actually um, I have actually in my notes, so I have a quotation mark. What does this example one tell, tell us is uh, CG, the first step of CG. So first iteration of CG is just steepest, steepest uh, descent. So the first iteration of CG uh, is just a SD. Okay. Um, and let's try to derive that. So what we do is we find this problem that is uh, Y vector subtract X sub K is in this S and uh, that problem. So this is panel number eight. So suppose, suppose we have minimized this one, okay? So because if we, we, if we look for the minimization of this problem, we get our next iterate. So this Y we minimize in this Y variable so that we get our next iterate, which means our next iterate, okay? subtract the optimal solution is this minimum. Okay. So this is, a, this is a key formula. So which means, which means, sorry, this is Q and this is square. So this is like a, this is like our original vector, and this is our projected vector. Okay. So let me write down this. Uh, um, so if we minimize this, it's equivalent of doing. So this Q times this is X. K plus one, subtract X star, subtract the original one, which is X K, um, let me see if I got this correct. Sorry, I think, okay, I bet. I think it should be, so let me recall. Um, so start from this formula, um, So it's S and uh, um, okay, 
me let me use this picture. So So this is our X star. And we are at, um, we're at maybe here. So this is our X K. And what we want to do is we project. So this is our direction. So maybe this is the direction of negative gradient. So what we do is we project this vector, which is x star subtract xk, or say xk subtract x star. So this vector we project into this subspace, okay. but q orthogonal. So, um, so this orthogonality is q orthogonality. So let me put a q here. So we project this vector to this subspace. So this orthogonal may not be like a right angle, but because it's Q orthogonal. So this subspace, so this line, so this line is our subspace. So we project this one to um, this subspace. And this point right here is our X, K plus one. So basically it's original subtract projection is orthogonal, Q orthogonal to S. So it's uh, the original. Subtract the projection is Q orthogonal to S. Okay. And this projection, so this is, this is XK subtract X star right here. The projection is is xk plus one subtract uh, xk. So right here it's xk subtract x star and the projection is the projection is um, xk subtract subtract x k plus one. So this one is q orthogonal to s. And if we write down explicitly what this is, it's, so XK got canceled. It's actually XK plus one subtract X star is Q orthogonal to S. So this means, this means what? This means Q times XK plus one subtract X star. So this guy dot product with V is zero for any V in this S. So this is essentially this is a this is a like a CG way of rewriting the steepest descent, and now we have to acknowledge two things. So first is Q 
because because our search direction is only uh, a dimension one subspace. So because S is a span of a single vector, so XK plus one is basically the previous iterate plus, you know, an element in this subspace. Okay. So this is a, this is the first observation. Second observation is this, this is unknown, I mean, X star. So despite we know um, it's Q inverse times B, but I mean, for a real problem that this is, this is not accessible to us, okay. So, and then we, we just, because it's for any V in S, we just change this V to PK. So the first thing we acknowledge is uh, xk plus one is this guy. The second thing, the second thing we have to acknowledge is gradient at the kth iteration is q x k subtract b. And like I said, despite X star is unknown. Q times X star is B. All right. So What does this tell us is Q times XK subtract X star is gradient of F. And this is gradient of F is minus PK. is minus PK and now we replace everything here. So we'll see this is Q alpha K PK. So this time, and then we have Q of XK subtract X star and is minus PK. So this is minus PK and dot product with PK is zero, okay? Alpha K is a number. So this one is a, is, is a scalar. And one vector dot with another, it's just this vector transpose and this guy. So this implies it's a PK transpose Q alpha K PK equals PK transpose PK. And we're done actually. So it's a CG way of rederiving um, the steepest descent. So right now we have So in the first iteration of CG, it's essentially steepest descent. So example two, so in next lecture, in next lecture, like I said, so CG, the core idea of CG is instead of we search in one direction, we search in a subspace. So now what if 
we search in the subspace, So now the dimension of S is now K. So this is uh, what we're gonna do next time. Like I said, the core, we have already learned the core idea. The core idea is we search in a subspace, not just a single direction. And the uh, next time we'll deal with uh, the technicality, how to construct the subspace and, uh, um, and why it's the best. So that's it for today.